Today I'd like to talk about why you should own a pop-up camper. There's a low initial cost. You can get pop-up campers on the used market anywhere from free, just get it out of my driveway, to spending over $10,000 new. And anywhere in between based on size, condition, and what features you're actually looking for. Usually anywhere between $1,500 and $6,000 will get you a, a really good used pop-up camper. Maintenance costs on pop-up campers is gonna be pretty low as well, just because they're smaller RVs. Now, granted, you have one thing with pop-up campers that you don't have with many other RVs, and that's canvas maintenance. And if you don't keep up on canvas maintenance, replacing of a canvas can be quite expensive. Yes, you need to maintain the canvas, and that is one hindrance of having a pop-up camper, in that you have a foldable, collapsible trailer, you gotta maintain the collapsible part. Things are smaller, and therefore easier to maintain, and much easier to do at home, versus having to take it to a dealer or a technician to get service done. The cool thing about pop-up campers is that because it's a hybrid tent trailer, you get the views of a tent. In no other RV are you gonna have windows as big as you are in a pop-up camper. That view and that airflow is one of the main reasons that people stick with pop-up campers in their RV selection. The insurance on pop-up campers is going to cost less because the units are worth less. You're also gonna get better fuel mileage on your tow vehicle because after they're collapsed, they have very little wind resistance and usually don't exceed the height of the tow vehicle. So overall concerning cost, pop-up campers just have a very low barrier to entry. There's not a whole lot of risk in getting into pop-up camping. It's several thousand dollars, and if you don't like it, it's easily sold on the used marketplace. So pop-up campers also provide the basic necessities. It's a walled shelter. It's a real bed off the ground. It has heat. They have the potential to have air conditioning. There's battery power or shore electricity. You have indoor running water. Some of them have toilets. Some have indoor showers. Some have floor to ceiling cabinets that fold up after you open up the pop-up camper. So all the amenities of a large travel trailer or fifth wheel, the big RVs, in a smaller package. And again, getting back to the windows. The windows are huge in getting that outdoors feeling inside when you're out RVing and you're out camping. So because pop-up campers fold up, they can often sleep a very large number of people relative to the size of the camper. So you can get small motorcycle pop-ups that only sleep one person and can be towed by a motorcycle, all the way up into double axle pop-ups that have a slide and can sleep eight, potentially nine plus people depending if they're adults or children. So there's a wide variety in there and based on the size, it's a lot of people that you can sleep in one RV. The next point I wanna make in favor of pop-up campers is that they are easy to renovate they're easy to customize and they come in a ton of different floor plans. So if you want a large couch, a huge table on a slide and two king beds, there's a pop-up camper for that. If you just want small beds and a table, just a place to put your gear out of the weather, it's easily towable by a small SUV, they make pop-ups for that too. And being that there's a large number on the used market at low cost of entry point financially, it's a lot easier to renovate something that's several thousand dollars than going out and buying a $40,000 fifth wheel and then I'm renovating it. And if you want to dive deeper with other RVers about all things RV, DIY projects, gear reviews, travel locations, anything RV, come on and join us over at the RV Gear and Far Group. I'll make sure to put a link in the description box below. We'd love to have you. So one of the big things that people consider when getting pop-up campers is the tow vehicle. And this is one of the reasons that we initially went with pop-up campers. And that is they are light weight. They can be anywhere from sub 1,000 pounds up to four or 5,000 pounds with two axles and all the way in between. The pop-up camper we got, we've had two of them and they've both been under 2,000 pounds, which means that we could pull them with the vehicle we had. We could pull them with a minivan. And there's a lot of pop-up campers out there that can be towed by crossovers, SUVs, minivans, full-size vans, and half-ton pickups. You're never gonna need a heavy-duty truck to pull even the largest pop-up campers. And so pop-ups are super accessible to people because they don't have to go out and buy a new tow vehicle. They can use what they have and then find a pop-up camper that fits their family with the vehicle they already have ready to tow it. The only thing I'd caution you is to make sure that you're checking your payload capacity on your tow vehicle. And that number is gonna be inside the sticker on the driver's side door. You're gonna add up all the people, gear, pets, everything inside the vehicle and then the tongue weight of the trailer and make sure you're not exceeding that payload capacity. Super important because people often exceed the payload capacity of their tow vehicle far before they hit the towing capacity of that vehicle. So one of the last things I want to talk about concerning pop-ups is how easy they are to store. Oftentimes they fit inside of typical residential garages. You can easily store them in your driveway and oftentimes you can move them around by hand or with a hand dolly. 
So by storing a pop-up camper in your driveway, in your garage, or in your backyard, one, you have the benefit of having it available to you. You don't have to drive anywhere to go pick it up, bring it back to store it. You don't have any storage fees, which therefore is another thing in favor of a low cost of ownership, is that you don't have to pay to store it somewhere. And it's accessible to you. You can store things in there, use it as a, a guest house if you need to every once in a while. And because they're so small and portable, it really is easy to store them. So if you've owned a pop-up camper, you know there's a ton of benefits to them and know the joys of getting out there and opening those huge windows and being out in nature but still having some of the amenities of a bigger RV. Let me know in the comments below, what did I miss? What other benefits are there to pop-up campers that we didn't cover today? So that's all I got for you today, guys. Again, I'm Joshua, we'll see you on the next one. Take care and pay it forward.